So um, last night we were doing a reading about COVID and I asked, when will COVID no longer affect every aspect of our life? And the cards that came out were the star, the king and the queen, the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. And I was like, I wonder what this is. So somehow the connection of the king and queen brings about the healing. So this morning I wake up and find out that Trump and his wife have COVID. So <laughs> I shouldn't look happy, except that I feel like that was the message. When the king and queen heal. So, um, I have, I have a strong feeling with the star card that they will be healing from COVID. And when that happens, I ask the question this morning, what will happen when the king and queen heal? And this is the response that uh, came out from the creator of all the source of life in asking the question. So, when the king and queen win their battle and they heal, the world will change. And as the world changes, we will come to the end of a cycle of pain and come to the end of a cycle of burdens. And we will move quickly into a tower for the whole world. So, I asked about the tower. And I receive the owl in reverse. The owl in reverse says that we haven't been seeing things clearly. And that the owl says to focus on its energy so that we can uh, see more clearly. And there was one sentence there I want to read to you just a moment. So the owl says the owl guards against self-deception and insist that your motives be pure and transparent to all. So <clears throat> at this time, in so many ways in the world, is full of motives that are not transparent and self-deception. And so that is what will be turned upside down. And it says, to wait patiently, just like the owl invites you to wait patiently. Bide your time until it is the right time to act. Then do so decisively with no hesitation or remorse. And so something will happen where the world in its, in its ultimate change Something will happen where decisive action is taken to wash away self-deception. And in that happening, we come into temperance. And as soon as I saw this, I just felt, you know, it's the age of Aquarius coming into balance. And beauty is a thing we've been waiting for, coming into this world. And the... The Andean cross is about the, the cardinal directions, the upper world and the lower world. And the circle is interdimensional travel. And so it's this temperance has to do with raising the vibration of the planet, raising everything around us. So this tower will break it down in that process of breaking down we will have a rising again. So after the king and queen are healed, the world will change. <clears throat> we will let go of the old patterns of pain, the old patterns of uh, stress and worry, and the things we're carrying. And we will move into this tower, the tower that will wash away self-deception and bring a decisive energy toward change. And as that happens, we'll be brought into this time of true harmony and peace, a connection of the worlds, the underworld and the upper world. 
the connections to the spirit world with the uh, the world that we know, and every the uh, vibration will be raised. The awakenings that are happening now with all the star seeds will come to fruition, and we'll move forward. You know, the Ace of Wands, the new beginning of a passionate um, direction in the world. So when the um, election comes, well, on all sides there will be disappointment in November. I, I, I just feel like this card is the um, election in that everyone will be disappointed. And I don't know what that means. But um, it will be a hard time. Everyone will be looking at the downside instead of the upside. But this new direction that we're having, this new focus, this new energy of uh, balance and connection and driving forward this 11 card and will push us forward into this new state of happiness. Now, I wanted to, um, uh, I'll look up this sorcerer, because the sorcerer in her verse was what came up for the, uh, justice card. So, basically, the sorcerer asks us, um, to look at our character flaws, the ways that we hurt other people, and, uh, the harm to yourself and to the ones you love. And it's time to come out of denial and accept responsibility for your words and destructive and deeds. And I'm thinking of like all the things that people write on the internet that are so horrible and mean. And it'll all come to them in a better understanding. It's time to make amends and do it. It will set you free from the shadows and let you step into the light. And so, becoming free of the, um, the tr you know, understanding ourselves, the darker sides of ourselves, and opening up, making amends, moving forward into the light. So this is the message of what will um, happen when the king and queen, Trump and his wife, um, are healed uh, from COVID in the next couple of weeks.